Hi YouTube, my name is Lars and welcome to the second video of my bulldozer build. Uh, today I'm going to work on assembling the blade and the cabin for this thing. And for those wondering about the files, uh, this is my own personal design. Uh, I haven't uploaded them anywhere yet. Uh, I won't share them for free, but I might sell them in the future. You'll have to get back to that later. I forgot to show you the model in the previous video, so I spend a lot of time designing my models. Uh, I think I spent maybe a month or so designing this. I found the measurements and dimensions on Google. And then I just designed this thing as best I could from looking at pictures. It's not perfect, but at least it, uh, it, it looks like the real thing, right? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> well, anyway, let's get back to building this dozer. Hey, look, I've cleaned up the mess. Yay. That's the main parts for the blade. Uh, we will add a steel knife in front here. blade finished. Uh, we got the steel knife mounted. Uh, this should be painted and it's ready to go. So now that we have finished assembling the blade, we're going to move on to the cabin. Here's the cabin assembled and uh, as you can see 
I still have to assemble the roof, but that's four bolts. You might notice these grooves right here. These are for the wires for the lights. Uh, you got two in the rear and one on each side. So the wires go in here. This is just a, a boundary for wires to lay up on so they don't fall into the cabin. Uh, we don't want wires hanging down inside the cabin. <laughs> Okay, so now that's uh, all uh, uh, melted together, uh, I'll go ahead and cut out the windows. So what do we use as windows? When you buy a lot of crap, uh, usually it comes with this packaging. I just keep these uh, plastic packages and I uh, use them as windows on my builds. that I've got all the windows cut out uh, we're going to use the soldering iron to fix them onto this Assemble the roll bar. And for those wondering why this is gray and this and this is brown <laughs> well that's because when this is painted it will be all caterpillar yellow but when you start using uh, the machine out in dirt and gravel sand rocks whatever the paint will eventually come off piece by piece so once the paint comes off, this will look like rust. The same with the track plates, I'll 3D print them in brown as well. This is starting to look more and more like a dozer. I think I'm going to end this episode right here. Uh, stay tuned for more, I'll continue building and record as I go. Uh, I'll upload the next episode very soon. See you next time.